Hey, good afternoon. I'm John from HB Pharmacy, and today I'm going to show you how to do a subcutaneous injection. It's useful to know, especially if you're injecting uh, certain types of insulin, sometimes even semaglutide injections. So this can apply to many injections that are just done under the skin. First thing we want to do is always clean our area in front, but we're going to do uh, get our all of our things out. We have our medications, we have alcohol prep pads, we have our syringes, and we have band-aids if necessary, okay? Uh, again, I like to wash down my counter. I also uh, recommend always washing your hands thoroughly. Um, in absence of that, you can also sanitize well, okay? Um, now, it's important whenever you're doing these types of injections to rotate the sites. So, for example, a semaglutide injection, which is given once a week, you know, you rotate the site every week to a different spot. Eventually, you can make your way back to one that you started, but it's very important to rotate the sites. Um, the sites that are acceptable are the uh, back of your uh, arm, which is your tricep. That would have to be somebody else administering it to you, but it is a good site. Um, the uh, lower abdomen, two or three inches away from your belly button on either side or your upper outer thigh area. And we'll get some shots later to show you exactly how that looks. All right, now our next step is to get prepare our vial. Some medications will come in a vial, some will be coming in a pre-filled syringe. So in this case, we're going to first start with the vial. So you're gonna get one pad out and you're going to remove the cap. There'll either be a, a, a foil cover or a flip top. You're going to uh, carefully wipe this. It's always important whether you're doing it on your skin or on top of the vial to allow the alcohol to dry. Um, now, then we're gonna prepare our syringe, right? Now, there's going to be directions exactly how many units or uh, mLs that you need to inject, okay? Whatever that amount is, is the corresponding amount of when you're going to draw back on the syringe and get that same amount. So we're going to, for uh, uh, the arguments here, we're going to do what's equivalent to 15 units. And it can get confusing a little bit with units versus uh, uh, tenths of milliliters like 0 0.1 0 0.2 that type of thing so if you have any questions check with one of the HB uh, pharmacists to get clarification but we're going to go for 15 units so we're going to uh, we wipe the alcohol it is now dry we're going to uh, puncture the vial we're going to inject the air that we drew back we're going to invert it 180 degrees and we're going to then go back to that same line and go to 15 units. It is important, now we're doing under the skin injection. Sometimes air bubbles can get in here. Air bubbles in an under the skin injection cannot harm you. But what they can do is lessen the amount of volume you're getting, thereby inadvertently lowering your dose. So try to uh, kick out the uh, any bubbles that may have formed in there, okay? Now, then you're going to take this back out and you are ready to inject. So. We're going to now put the cap back on the needle to prepare our injection site. We're going to get another wipe and this fortunate orange is the lucky victim today. Now we're going to go in. Now normally a person is going to pinch the skin. So pinch the area around your stomach, pinch the area around your outer thigh, or if somebody else is giving it to you, pinch the area around the back of your arm. Um, if 90% of the time you want to go in 90 degree angle so that's straight as opposed to on an angle right so if you are extremely thin person sometimes you need to use a 45 degree angle most people would not need to do that so we've pinched the skin we're going in at 90 degrees and then we're going to slowly and firmly inject depress the plunger once we're all the way to the bottom then we're going to release the hand and then we're going to pull this out slowly okay it's important to do it in that fashion um, now, we remove, now if you need to, uh, and the person's bleeding, you can then uh, apply uh, a Band-Aid to the spot if needed. Okay, sometimes, we, as I showed you just now, sometimes things will come in a vial and then you have to carefully withdraw the correct amount of uh, medication into the syringe prior to injecting. Other times, you'll get uh, your medications in uh, a pre-filled syringe, either from a manufacturer or from our lab. Um, these pre-filled syringes, now they'll say, I always make sure this is for me, it's got my name on it, it says the dose, and it's in good date. So we're ready to use it. So basically, when you take this out, you are skipping the steps we showed you with um, using the vial, and you're just going to 
prepare the injection site. Again, pinching, alcohol first, let it dry, pinch the skin, remove the cap, and then go in at 90 degrees as we discussed with the other uh, example. Okay, I just wanna uh, do a close up on the uh, suitable sites for injection of subcutaneous or under the skin injections for things like insulin or semaglutides, et cetera. Um, the back of the arm, which is the tricep, there's a good area to grab there of, of skin and fat. Um, the other areas would be the outer upper thigh, here and here, or the uh, abdomen. The thing about the abdomen is this, if the red dot is our, my belly button, you need to go two to three inches to either side. Just one final point to mention. Please make sure you carefully and safely dispose of your used syringe. You can purchase a personal uh, sharps container for your home. Of course, we have these here because we are using syringes and needles all the time. It needs to be put inside in a safe container and be able to be shut tightly. So you can either use one of these or something else that you have your, at home, but make sure that you dispose of your syringe carefully. Thank you.